As anybody who listens uh, to the Brexit Club here on Robin Hood Radio, I have mentioned a couple of times uh, that I found a terrific story in Millerton, New York, called The Dig. And that store doesn't uh, apply correctly. It's just a, a great place to go and browse and browse for things that are associated with uh, food, uh, everything from your pantry to produce to uh, takeouts uh, to incredible. Uh, they just finished uh, uh, with the run of tamales that will come back, uh, and, uh, and now they're making crepes. Uh, I can go on and on and on, but uh, I'll stop and I'll introduce uh, Katia Schultz, who is uh, co-founder of The Dig. Katia, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. And I don't know, I loved, I loved hearing you go on about it. We um, we love the tamales as well. It was a huge success, and we're looking forward to um, to bringing it back, but also trying new things this winter. Well, what's interesting is not, not only uh, I went there originally for the tamales, but uh, when I was there, uh, I found that you had incredible produce, uh, and uh, I think I got some baby. I, I got I think I got bok choy there i think i i, mm-hmm. I got some uh, some cauliflower uh i'm not really a a huge a vegetable guy but i love those things and the bok choy i got there beats any of the bok choy uh that i've that i've purchased anywhere around here from any of the markets it was uh, i don't know if it's locally grown or what but it was absolutely uh, amazing uh, uh I, the stuff that you bring in and sell like this your produce is it all is it all fairly local it is. So we have a we have a really strong local presence, and we're very grateful for the farming uh, that goes on in this area. So the whole purpose around our produce is to highlight our farmers. And uh, we have Freedom Farm, who will be highlighted every single Friday from uh, this day forward. And uh, the bok choy you're talking about was from Common Hands Farm, and we are so grateful to have them. Uh, we have, as you know, Rock Steady in the area. We love uh, Silmar Farm. Uh, we work strongly with, like, Broad Fork, uh, who does our greens. McEnroe has been wonderful to us. So we're just so grateful to be, again, like a connecting bridge from uh, the farmers to our, our local um, community. And I'll talk a little bit now about the bagels, because the bagels uh, that I got from you <laughs> were just unbelievable. They are hot. They are a hot ticket. Um, and they are very good. So... You know, without going too much into it, my family is originally from Long Island, or Long Island, I should say. And um, and so we were pretty picky about the bagels, and we found amazing bagels in the area. So we're really thrilled to have those, and they just fly off the shelves. But in addition to the bagels, we also have the baker's wife, and she and her husband make amazing crusty bread with, like, a delicious inside. I could go on and on about each one of the foods that we, we sell, but um, the baker's the baker's wife has been incredible. Uh, you know, having this relationship with the bakers is also, it's, it's fresh and um, it's just fun. So we try to bring a lot of fresh, fun goodness into basically everything we do. And that includes, you know, the, the produce, the, the milk, the um, even as simple as, you know, like the artwork on the walls. We are so fortunate to have two incredible new artists in the store. So each season we are rotating our art and we have two full galleries so we have a sunrise gallery in the front which now is um is a photographer and uh, and then in the back we have a sculpturist and um and i would just say come in because you really have to view their art uh, i couldn't say enough about them but um but yeah we're, we're really pleased to open it to a bunch of different um opportunities here and what's great about it, by the way, the dig is located, in case you're wondering, at 3 Main Street in Millerton, New York. Basically, uh, if you uh, come through Millerton and you're heading towards Route 22, uh, right when you get to the 22 intersection, if you look to your right, uh, you'll you'll find the dig there. And there's plenty of parking, uh, which is available, if it's not on the street, right off the street. And it's, it's an easy walk. And I, I have to ask this question. When you started the dig, um, did you... Has it turned out right now like you imagined it before you started it? Because I, I'll take it like this. I'm 68 years old now, and when I was a kid, I lived in uh, the border of Sharon and West Cornwall. And in West Cornwall, there was a meat market owned by the Utslers, and there was also a country store, Bierce's store. Uh, and your store reminds me 
of when I was a kid because you go in there and you've got all this fresh product. Uh, it's, uh, uh, the, it, it's almost a throwback in time, but then on mm-hmm. top of that, you are, you have all the conveniences of ordering ahead, picking up some delivery and stuff. I mean, so is this worked out like you thought it would work out or is it, has it been any different? That's a great question, and I'm really thrilled. First of all, happy birthday, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and uh, of course, and I'm uh, I'm I'm thrilled to hear you saying that it reminds me a little of your your childhood because that was really the purpose of it was to find the comforts of that the past that I think we all really miss, and um, and then also bringing us into you know with modern day comforts as well like curbside pickup and websites and. Um, and being really um, kind of tech savvy, we're we're still figuring that piece out. But um, but yeah, it, that the the store has sort of um, it's living, it's breathing, it's taken a life of its own. And so um, we all, all of the owners and um, the people that support us, we all put into it this really positive energy. And what we've found is, if we just keep doing that, um, it's kind of going beyond. Um, what we even imagine. So I would say yes, that it, it is it is really happening. It's an idea that we all had that's coming to fruition. And then it's so much better than we could have even imagined because we have all the support. We have, you know, these incredible products that we get to put out. We have a lot of fun with it. We're really creative. We try to constantly, um, you know, up our, up our own game, basically, and, um, and we get great ideas from, from the community. So, you know, Damasi, they're a, a local news store that has a lot of home goods. And they're just so creative online. And I love what they do. And, and so I'm always throwing them, you know, cool uh, little props online. And, and T-shirt farm in Millerton, they've done our uniforms. Um, and so, like, we've talked to them and, and they've used their creativity and helped us create this, like, really cool apron and and we love our uniforms um so even like the smallest to largest parts of this business have sort of a a living breathing life of their own um the crepes are definitely a huge draw that was one of the main focal points of our of our business and um, and people recognize it they love the sweet and savory crepes we love our crepes um and i think you taste it you know you taste uh, the care we put into our products, you taste our, our positivity, you know, it's, it's just, it's all authentic and, um, and it's been a really good success, you know, in that way. We were talking with uh, Katia Schultz, who is one of the co-founders of The Dig on Main Street in uh, Millerton. Uh, their telephone number is 518-771-3444. Uh, you'll find them on the web at thedigonmain.com. Also, uh, obviously, uh, uh, at The Dig on Main. Uh, and they're open Monday through Friday from 6.30 in the morning to 11, Saturday 9 to 4, and Sunday from 9 to 4 as well. And I think what's always fun about going into into the dig is you always seem to find something new. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> yeah, that is definitely the that's definitely a very strong um, strong suit for our our business, and, and that's what's part of being uh, living and breathing, right? Like the new, fun, um, interesting goods that we get to bring in. And by the way, speaking of great ideas, so you have the Breakfast Club. I didn't even know the name of of the, the morning, so I'm so glad that I found out because so we have the Breakfast Club too. Have you heard about this? Oh, that's great! You have you have you have that yeah. as well. <laughs> we should we should we should tag you guys in so anyone from Robin Hood Radio should just get like a you know, 50 percent off the Breakfast Club because you guys already you really started it. So <laughs> we just we put a food twist on it, and um, and people we have uh, we have a couple members so far because we just started and, and people are figuring out about it, but. Um, for any, you know, anybody listening today, I would say, uh, you know, you are welcome to like uh, the first week free, but the, um, the breakfast club is basically a monthly, um, offering. So you put in, um, $90 for a month and you get one breakfast and as many coffees as you want every single day of the month. And so that's uh, $90 for basically every single day of breakfast. 
That's great. It takes it take, really takes all the thought out of it. And and now you also have special events. You've had special events, and yeah. and, and and you've got art on the wall. Let's talk about the art and special events at at the dig. Yeah, so they've been um, they've been really special. Um, we we had a couple of meet the artists. Um, to celebrate the artist who just recently left. If anybody's listening that has been to the store, they've probably seen the beautiful artwork. Um, the the gallery, as you walked in, was uh, Maria Crespo, a very talented artist. And uh, and then in the sunset gallery in the back space was Perry Leffert. And, um, and as I said before, we have a photographer now and a sculpturist. So we have the Meet the Artist. We also have going on right now a pumpkin decorating contest. We're hoping to get all the businesses going. Um, individuals are welcome, and it's a seventy-five dollar uh, store credit first prize. So you know, you get some get some goodies out of it, and uh, and that's something that's going on all week for Halloween. We have a pumpkin carving contest on um, uh, this week. We have henna. We have tarot card readings. We have a bunch of events coming up for the holidays, and um, it's what we try to do because there are so many is we, we put everything online. We put everything on our website. Everything is on Instagram. Um, and we try to be uh, current with our website. And so uh, if you're ever wondering, yeah, what we have going on, it's, it's up there. So if people want, if you if you folks are listening, uh, by the way, when we put this interview up on our on-demand page, it's available at robinhoodradio.com. Click on on-demand, click on interviews, and you'll find the interview about the dig. Not only do we have all the information about the hours up there, we have a direct link to the dig on Maine.com. Also, uh, their Instagram account, uh, at the dig on Maine. Uh, and uh, we also uh, have links to the uh, to where you can find out about what they do off and on over the course of the month. Well, once again, uh, like I said, I I found it by somebody telling me about because they knew that I like to make tamales, telling me about the tamales, <laughs> and I I've been in there three or four times, and uh, and like I said, uh, it's it's a fun place to shop. It throws me back in time. Uh, the prices are more than reasonable, and believe you me, uh, uh, the crepes and and the tamales and the things you get for takeout uh, are, are are they they're they're very large. It's not small. I think you guys are doing a great job there. Thank you so much, Marshall. I'm I'm such I'm so honored to be here with you today, and um, and, and again, happy birthday! <laughs> and I'm so I'm so thrilled. We're so thrilled to have you as a part of you know our friends and family. That's what it's all about. It's about the friends, the families, the neighbors in this area, you know, and beyond. Um, and just having an opportunity to come together with local goods, freshness, goodness, and so um, everyone is a little small part of that. Uh, and so we're really thrilled to, ha- to hold the space so that everybody can can be a part of it. Well, once again, folks, that's the dig on Main Three Main Street in Millerton, New York, five one eight seven seven one three four four four. The web address is thedigonmain.com. And uh, Katia, thanks for joining us this morning. And uh, I'll probably be seeing you within the next couple of days. Yeah, I'll see you. I'll save some bok choy for you.